How to add motion blur in Adobe Premiere Pro. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you two ways that you can add motion blur to your video footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're going to jump in now to our dashboard and we're going to import some footage. What they do have here on their homepage is a bunch of stock footage that you can use for sample purposes or if you would like to include it in your footage you can go ahead and do so so for the first method we are going to use a clip that looks like this and this is a specific type of motion blur and you're going to need a clip where there is a forward moving motion or a backward moving motion or a pan from left to right or a pan from right to left so we're going to go ahead, we're going to select this and tap on create in the bottom over here. We're going to go ahead now and as you can see, you've got your clip. And what we're going to do is we are going to create some keyframes. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have a keyframe, let's say perhaps over here. And this literally can be done absolutely any way you'd like. And the shortcut for a keyframe is the letter M on your keyboard if you are using Windows. So you can just go ahead and you can make these two keyframes. Right, so the first thing you want to do now is select where that keyframe starts. And it's right over there. On your effects panel, you're going to go ahead and look for effects. And you're going to go ahead here and look for directional blur. Once you've found directional blur, it is under the blur and sharpen folder. You can click down, hold your click in, drag over and drag it onto your clip. We now have directional blur onto this clip. The thing is, we need to start defining the properties of this directional blur so that we can actually get what we want out of it. So what we're going to do is you have a effects control panel over here, and this is what it looks like. And um, just for a reference, if you go up to the top of your toolbar, there is a window tab. You can tap on that. Here you can find all of the different windows that you can open and have on your interface. So I've got the effects open. I've got the effects control open. Of course, the audio meters and the media browser, the source monitor, text, and then I've got the tools over here. So... Once you have all of these windows open, you will be able to do the motion blow effectively. We're going to go down now. You can see on the left-hand side in the effects control, you can go all the way down to the bottom, and we have the directional blur and all of its properties. Now, it holds two properties. It has the direction of the actual blur, and then it has the length or the amount of blur that will actually happen in your video clip. So. On this marker, we are going to select the direction. So first of all, once you click in there, you can put in an amount, right? On the right hand side where your actual video is displayed, you can see what it's going to look like. Instead of putting an amount in there, if you hold your cursor over the amount, you can see that there is a pointer and there are two arrows. Now, if you click down and you move your mouse cursor, you will see that it'll actually start to change the amount of blur, right? But the direction is not as important because the blur length is at zero. So over here, we're going to key in 20 and hit enter. And you can see now that it is actually blurred. We can now go ahead with the direction and you can click down again and you can see that it actually changes the direction of the blur and the amount that you're putting in there is actually in an angle form so as you can see as i'm going up and down you can see that the direction of the blur is changing so we're going to keep it say at 45 and we're going to hit enter and that is the actual angle so if you push play now you will see that it actually just moves forward and the entire video is actually in a blur which is not what we want we want a section between our markers as a blur so we're going to go over now to the blur length and we are going to hit the little clock over there so once you hit the clock it allows you to enter a keyframe so we're going to go and make this amount zero and you can see now that there is a keyframe over there and it will be blue if there is a keyframe and in this panel over here you will see that there is a keyframe there 
Now you can toggle your footage a little bit forward. You can go to your next marker or you can create a new keyframe whichever place that you wanted in your actual video sequence. We can now go ahead and change the amount over here and we can add another keyframe and then we can go all the way to the end of our video and we can set that amount to zero so we're going to go in again and zero and there's another keyframe we can now also you know just to revert these changes that we've made originally before we added the keyframes the the beginning of the video we can actually allow a keyframe there and we can make that amount zero so now if you've set this up correctly your video will look like this and that is how you put a blur effect on to a video sequence in adobe premiere pro i'm going to show you another way but for this we're going to have to leave here and import another video so let's just go new project and we are going to use this video over here and we can just select the media and we can tap on create now again we're going to replace what we've just done i don't need to save those changes and here we are we can see that this video over here is of a little boy in a ball right so the first thing we want to do is find the place that we want to add our keyframe to and we're going to put it just over here and we can hit the m key and we can go ahead and find another spot and hit the m key now we have two markers in over here so again you're going to go over to your left hand side and you're going to look for effects you're going to tap on effects and you're going to go ahead and type in here transform now once you've hit transform you can go ahead down and look underneath distort there is a transform effect you can now select it drag it over and drop it onto your clip you have now got a transform effect on your actual clip so let's go ahead now to the original keyframe over here that we've created or the marker that we've created and you can see over here now that there is a transform effect in your effects control panel on the left hand side and you can now look for the shutter angle the sampling and the use compositions shutter angle so this is where we change all the properties of the actual blur that's going to happen so again we're going to go ahead we can make the marker the first marker over here we can uh, tap on that um, clock icon where it says shutter angle and we are going to now change this and you can change this between 0 and 360 so we're going to just for example we're going to make it 180 and we're going to go ahead now and we are going to look for that other keyframe or that marker that we used and we are going to now tap that keyframe and we're going to make that 180. The other thing that you need to do here is make sure that the use compositions shutter angle is actually unchecked and then the sampling you have the two options the bicubic and the bilinear we want to make sure that it is bilinear so you'll be going now through your footage and you may find that there will be a blur effect now this will all depend on how close your keyframes are so if you're moving these keyframes and and changing the position of them and making the time between them shorter your blur will become more intense and the further apart they are the blur will become less intense so there are two ways that you can add motion blur to your videos in adobe premiere pro i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like we'll see you in another awesome video cheers for now